Hi, everybody. Welcome to The Tonight Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Jimmy Fallon, and this is The Roots right there. <laughs> Let's get to the news and jokes. Well, guys, this is exciting. Tonight, the 2020 NFL season kicked off. That's right. Football is back. Finally, an excuse to drink booze and watch hours of TV. <laughs> That's right. It's football season, and uh, I'll be honest, when I saw two guys tackle each other and make physical contact, I got a little choked up. It's been so long. That's right. After the first tackle, the running back didn't get up. He was just like, it feels so good to be held. <laughs> Tonight, we got to see Kansas City star quarterback Patrick Mahomes. Not only is Mahomes the reigning Super Bowl MVP, he also is the last person to yell, I'm going to Disney World without a hint of fear. <laughs> That's right. It's a good time to be Patrick Mahomes. This summer, he signed a 10-year, $503 million contract. When the team owner congratulated him, Mahomes was like, actually, I'm the owner now. <laughs> $503 million. Patrick Mahomes is so rich, he actually bought Mulan on Disney+. Plus. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Houston's quarterback, Deshaun Watson, just signed his own new contract for four years and $160 million. When he heard that, Mahomes was like, oh, that's cute. To keep everyone safe, the Chiefs had just 16,000 fans at tonight's game instead of their usual 76,000. It wasn't hard to narrow it down. They just advertised it as a Bengals game. <laughs> and get this, now all the coaches have to wear masks on the sidelines. You see that? Yeah, the season just won't be the same without seeing Bill Belichick's shimmering smile. I'm just... I just... <laughs> Of course, another big story this offseason was that Tom Brady joined the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is Brady's 21st season. 21, yeah. He's outlasted Peyton Manning, Tony Romo, and keeping up with the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Tom Brady went from New England to Florida before his fans pregame with Boston Lager. Now they do it with bath salts. <laughs> and this is fun. Rob Gronkowski came out of retirement to play with Brady in Tampa Bay. It wasn't a tough decision. Once every senior frogs on Earth shut down, Gronk had nowhere else to go. <laughs> well, guys, everyone is still talking about Bob Woodward's tapes of his conversations with President Trump. Yesterday, Trump was asked about downplaying the virus, and here's what he had to say. Did you mislead Well, I think if you said in order to reduce panic, perhaps that's so. The fact is I'm a cheerleader for this country. I love our country. And I don't want people to be frightened. I don't want to create panic, as you say. Yeah, Trump is a cheerleader for our country. Then he proved it by leading a fun call and response with the press. He was like, what do we need? The press was like, a plan. He was like, when do we need it? Six months ago. <laughs> yeah, he's a cheerleader for our country. Uh, check out his pom-poms. Look just like the bear. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, Trump complained about the fallout on Twitter and described it as the political hit job by rapidly fading Bob Woodward and his boring book. Trump was like, total hit job. I spoke to a reporter 18 times, and he recorded it and wrote down my exact words. Fake. <laughs> well, let's get to, uh, to some business news here. I saw that Home Depot just made an interesting announcement. Listen to this. So Home Depot says they're officially canceling that traditional rush out to the store, Black Friday. They'll be offering discounts, though, through November and December at stores and online. <laughs> Hang on. Were, were people really going to Home Depot on Black Friday? Uh, oh. People were setting their alarm at 2 a.m. and lining up outside for plywood? <laughs> That's all my kid wants. That's all he wants. Meanwhile, TJ Maxx will continue their tradition of every day being like Black Friday. Just, give me that sweatshirt. Give me that sweatshirt. Let's go. Throw it over here. Uh, guys, as CBD continues to become more and more popular, an unlikely celebrity has launched her own line. Watch this. Hi, everyone. I'm Martha Stewart, and I have some very exciting news. I am launching a new line of CBD products. That's right. Martha Stewart is launching her own CBD line. Even crazier, Snoop Dogg is launching his own line of tablecloths and pie tins. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, here's something we could all use. Uh, the boxed wine company Franzia is now selling a wine dispensing backpack. Look at this thing. Yeah! Maybe it's just me, but I'm waiting for something a little more professional, like a whiskey dispensing briefcase. 
I'm pretty sure that's the first backpack that's for teachers, not students. <laughs> Some entertainment news during the coronavirus, uh, due to the coronavirus, soap opera actors are doing kissing scenes, but with mannequins. No. <laughs> no. It's a little distracting. We'll watch this. That's right. Uh, after one kiss, another mannequin rolled in and said, Rodrigo, how could you? That's my twin. <laughs> well, this is crazy. A family of a missing hiker in England got a pretty great surprise this week. Check this out. An 80 year old Englishman who went missing during a hike was found safe after he walked in on the news conference. His family set up to try and find him. <laughs> uh. Meanwhile, his wife folded the insurance paperwork and was like, oh, good, he's back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, authorities were relieved while Democrats were like, Mr. Biden, where the hell have you been? <laughs> and finally, this is going viral. Last night in Tennessee, there was a pretty interesting sighting. Watch this. There is a search underway for a tiger in Knox County. According to the sheriff's office, the deputy spotted the tiger in an industrial park last night. No other sightings have been reported. Even crazier today, the tiger showed up at a press conference about his disappearance. <laughs> if you see the tiger, be careful. It's considered especially dangerous ever since it got a hold of one of those Franzia backpacks.